Welcome back to Photoshop Elements Imaging Techniques and Tips. I'm your host Ken Keith. A big hello to the local Elements user group and those of you who are so kind to be visiting with us today on Vimeo and YouTube. Well in our last episode we discussed the Photoshop Elements 9 and the changes in the uh, panoramic uh, procedures and the changes there in how to make a, a photo panorama or the photo merge panorama and today we're going to look at uh, the photo collage and the expanded capabilities in Elements 9. Also you'll note as we go along that the interface for Elements 9 is much brighter and legibility is greater and uh, it's just a, a lot easier on the eye and I really appreciate that. So we started here in the organizer and you can see that we've uh, uh, highlighted four images of butterflies and we're going up here now to the create tab and photo collage. Now let that load up and elements uh, starts out with this dialog if you want to print this or you're thinking about doing it at another time as opposed to sending it out uh, you have uh, a choice here of three different sizes and I'm going to leave the default on which is 8.5 by 11 in case I wanted to print this on my uh, local printer I can do that uh, right at that size over here on themes uh, you have a whole lot to choose from uh, one call basic and then you have a preview over here but actually this uh, a basic theme is not such a bad thing and, and we'll see here in just a bit uh, how we can uh, alter that and um, uh, make it into something more than the, just the default so we're going to press OK right after we uh, check this that says autofill with selected images and you see those four images down here in the project bin uh, let's click OK and we'll watch it magically create that little collage for us right. and when it pops up let me get rid of this uh, uh, Wacom um, edition of uh, Color Effects Pro get rid of that uh, the four images are placed and you notice that this was a collage created uh, initially in, in the, the basic or the default for eight individual photographs and there are now four empty frames or placeholders here and uh, let's say now that uh, I've decided well let me go ahead and uh, at least add one more image so what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, click on this placeholder to add a frame it's, it's going to bring up a uh, what's in your hard drive and on my desktop here I've already got that selected actually I've got a, a little um, butterfly image called the skipper snack and we're going to put that one in there Let's highlight it and press place and it automatically fills that frame for us and uh, gives you a little slider up here so that you can increase or decrease the size of it or if you decide you want another image you have this one and if it's something that needed to be uh, rotated uh, you've got this right here well I pretty much like this as it is and uh, yeah I don't yeah I might bump it up just a little bit and then accept it click the uh, green check mark okay so what do I do then with these that I don't want I'm just going to go ahead and and if I, if I if I do that if I just if I touch it select it it's going to ask me to to uh, place another document in there but I'm just going to have it highlighted and I'm going to press the delete key on my keyboard the little dialog pops up and asks me if I really want to delete it I'm going to say yes if I don't want to be bothered with that step again we can check that it's gone 
don't, don't want to place it don't want to place anything there just have it highlighted just delete okay um, mouse over that one so that it's highlighted actually these are all separate layers and we'll see that here in just a bit delete and yes okay now that we have our uh, layout and um, uh, you know we don't have to uh, accept what is there as far as placement you can you can grab your center point you have if you've got your move tool here and you can move all these things around uh, you can hold down the shift key and grab a corner handle and and resize it if you like and resize that and accept it and move it move it all about now if you needed to get the um, slider to do the resizing uh, instead of using uh, the method that I just showed you I'm just going to double click on this and I can get the slider again uh, but uh, it, it's a good thing you just go ahead and highlight this hold down the shift key grab a corner and resize it to your liking and then accept it now you notice, uh, for example, uh, this particular image is uh, in the background and it's hidden. So if I wanted to uh, bring that on top of uh, one of these, uh, this image or, or uh, into the forefront, I'm just going to go up here to Arrange. I'm going to highlight that, Arrange, and Bring to Front, and it automatically moves it up here for us, and we can move him around hold down the shift key resize it however we want okay so now that w let's say we have we're uh, done with that you can also then uh, if you might want to uh, think about changing the layout just in general so you can go over here to this panel and in this column select layout and as you mouse over it tells you uh, what layout you can select and how many images this is uh, five images side by side these are eight photos if you decide well maybe I'd like to to try that one just double click it to apply it yeah excuse me and it's working and you see it's a it's, it's a landscape with eight images and then you can either accept this uh, take these away fill it with some other images but I've decided now I'm not going to uh, use that I like the original layout so I'm just going to go up here and undo and you can see as you move the scroll bar down you have other layouts for one two and three photos at this point if you are completely satisfied with what you've done you can just press done or you can send it to print but let's add some more things so let's go over to the artwork tab where you have a number of things that you can look at there and, and to uh, modify your layout one is colors and as you hover over with your mouse it's also going to tell you that it has a pattern to it so I'm going to select this one for example double click it and it automatically applies that color with the pattern to the background okay then uh, moving on down uh, we have uh, quite a variety of frames that you can add to the individual images you're just going to go ahead and highlight an image and decide you want this frame right here for example just double click it and it applies it you can go ahead all through and apply frames of different types to all your images or no frames at all if you decide you don't like that you can just click undo going down a little further you get to another uh, area of this that's called graphics and personally I think this is a bit strange uh, you see all the graphics in there except for the safety pin they're all flowers 
and uh, this may be just fine for certain collages but my goodness you're going to do all kind of different subjects and I just don't see uh, how apropos they are but anyway y if you want to apply them just uh, once again double click and then you can resize them and reposition them to fit once again if you're finished with your collage you can press done and that sends it back to the organizer as a PSD file if you want to print it at this stage go ahead and print and if not we can go on to the final column in this panel which is called text and as you see here uh, we have a, we want to add a text block I just clicked on that you can select then your fonts from there and then also these fonts will come up in certain styles and as you see here we'll, we'll double click that and then just go ahead and type in your text and I'm going to put butterflies of Missouri okay. and click OK and if we'd like now uh, we can uh, add another feature which is called warp text and this dialog comes up you can select your style and I think I'm just going to put this in an upper arc like that butterflies of Missouri you have the flexibility of changing the the amount of bend and the horizontal and vertical distortion if you're through you just click OK but now I've decided uh, I'm not quite done with this don't uh, have quite the look that I want so what I'm going to do now and this is uh, often not mentioned in uh, some of the other videos that I've seen both from Adobe and, uh, and others and that is called switch to advanced mode so we're going to do that and click on it Now I must tell you that I, I paused the recording for this to load up in the advanced mode because it, this does take a lot of computing power and depending on the size of your collage, the type of machine that you're running, it may take you a little bit to uh, come back into uh, this uh, advanced mode and you may also get a message that says that it's not responding. Now, normally, uh, I've had this happen, but uh, normally just by waiting, that will go away and it actually will load up and come back into the advanced mode. So, as you um, scroll down, you can see a number of things like layer styles and effects that you can uh, apply to things. And also, I'm going to bring this layers palette, or, or actually we call it the layers panels now instead of palettes and you see that everything that we have done in this collage the uh, the software has put it on its own separate background so we have the flexibility of going back into each layer and making whatever modifications that we would like uh, and you notice we have the little FX icon here and uh, I'm going to highlight the layer called Butterflies Missouri the text layer I'm going to click on that FX and if I've decided, for example, that uh, it really doesn't stand out enough from the background, I'm going to give it a little bit of a bevel there. And also I'm going to give it a, a stroke, uh, maybe a 5 pixel, and maybe a different color might be good. Maybe just we'll I'll just put, a, put something white in there and it stands out a little bit better now and click OK when you're all finished once again you have the buttons down here you're done to send it back to the organizer as a PSD file and in which case all these layers will be saved and you can go back at any time to uh, make additional alterations in any of those layers if not you can send it to print well I hope you have a lot of fun uh, these uh, collages are certainly interesting and, and nifty to make. Uh, experiment around with them. Let me know how you're doing. Hope you have a great week ahead and we'll talk again. Take care now.